We actually went to Brazil for my 40th, we went to Rio and I got a text uh, while I was out there for one of the boys saying, listen James, happy birthday, have a great time. I actually know somebody that's got a pop-up bar in Rio. He said, go to the corner of the street of death <laughs> <laughs> in Ipanema, right? And I was out there, my girlfriend met up with my friend Scott to been out there and his girlfriend's Brazilian, so we're showing his Brazilian girlfriend, she's going, Listen, the carnival doesn't even get down there. I, I, I would avoid that place. <laughs> so me and Scott thought we'll definitely go. <laughs> and we're down there and I've asked for a guy called Humberto, right? And I'm at this corner, what I thought was this bar, and I'm going, Humberto, Humberto. And he's just looking at me. The more I'm saying Humberto, the angrier they're getting. I'm looking at the text messages, ask for the king. So I asked the guy called, called the king and he just pointed at the bottom of the street, went, I hear he's there. And I turned and I could see the most Brazilian looking guy you could ever imagine with a full Celtic strip on. <laughs> and Humberto cannot speak any English, right? He cannot speak any English. But he sees us and he goes like that. Whoa! Bishop Spriggs! Because <laughs> it turns out, right, this guy's a mad Celtic fan, don't know for what reason, but he's been to Celtic Park twice. And each time he comes over, he stays in Bishop Briggs. <laughs> and he drinks his fucking quins in Bishop Briggs. <laughs> so Humberto, right, decides to take us the following day on a favela tour. And it was beautiful and it was romantic and it was, it was dangerous. It was just, you know what I mean? So I'm making my way through the favela. People are looking at us and all that. Humberto's kind of giving us safe passage. He's telling us through Tanya that we're sort of interpreter about the bar, how he had the bar, had the bar with his best friends, falling out his best friend now, bit of fucking grief, but anyway, we're just having a great time. We get right to the top of the favela, look out over Rio, and I can hear just a shouting, right? And Humberto's looking off flustered, and he's fucking shouting, his face is changing, and I'm like, oh, fucking hell, man, we're going to get done in here, this is how it happens. This is how it happens. And I just see another Brazilian at the bottom of this alley, in a ranger strip. <laughs> And he's shouting at Humberto, we are the people. <laughs> and it turns out that this is Rodrigo, right? Who has run away with his sister and get married. Not his own sister, he's not for five. He's run away with Humberto's sister and get married. This is now his brother-in-law, that's why they'll no get the bar together. And I just found it amazing that in the most Catholic country in the world, as an act of revenge, his brother-in-law is now taken to God himself. Roddy, the prodi. <laughs>